Hi, my name's Mark from Chico to Tutor, and in this video with Practical Machinist, we're going to look at the benefits of understanding both G code programming and CAD CAM and when we should use each one. So let's first have a look at G-Code and what are the benefits of programming solely with G-Code. Well, G-Code is often quicker to program lathes and machining centers. By using some of the tricks that I've showed you during my course of videos with Practical Machinist, we have many tools at our disposal to be able to speed up our programming process with G-Code, especially on lathes and machining centers. So for example, we can use cycles, which makes the code very small, and we use very few lines of code to be able to produce our parts. And we would use subprograms and subroutines to be able to reuse the same code over and over to produce our profiles. And with macro programming really comes into play where we can start using variables to again speed up our programming processes. And my all time favorite is using boilerplates. So we can use sections of code we've used before and just simply copy and paste them into our program and just make a few edits so we have a fully written program. So by using a combination of lots of different processes and methods, we can really speed up our G-code programming to make almost any parts on a lathe or machining center faster than we can with CAD CAM. Now I say most parts because complex milling, for example, would be better using CAD CAM to be able to get those points because the maths involved alone programming by hand would take longer than it would do to make a CAD model and to be able to make tool paths using our CAM side of the CAD CAM. Now another benefit by writing our programs by hand using G-Code is they're a lot easier to read by a machinist. Now CAD CAM software is getting better. We are starting to see a lot more cycles being used with CAD CAM these days. But a lot of CAD machines still push out lots of code and lots of small movements and it's very hard to see exactly what's going on just by sight reading on the screen when we see the program flash up on our machine. Now of course G-Code programming also is a lot faster for one-offs and simple parts. Say for example, we had a block of material that we wanted just to pop a couple of holes in to use as packing or for whatever reason, to fire up a CAD CAM machine, make a model of that and start sorting out our drilling cycles, our holes and everything using CAD CAM would take a lot more than just adding a few lines of code into the machine to produce these parts. So learning G-Code gives you a fully rounded skill set in the machine shop, you never know when you're gonna to need to get your hands dirty with programming with code. Okay, so that's G-Code. So let's look at the benefits of CAD CAM and when we would use it. So CAD CAM was revolutionary when it came about because all of a sudden we can do very complex parts very quickly by making a three-dimensional model and then setting tool paths within a software. And of course, this still outputs to G-Code, but it creates our G-Code for us in times when it would be a lot quicker to use CAD CAM than to try and program these parts by hand. So CAD CAM is especially used for large complex milled parts. So if we have a lot of features in a part, such as this one I'm showing on the screen right now, we wouldn't want to do this by hand because it would take forever. It's much quicker to make a model and then produce tool paths than it would be to try and program this by hand. Now this can be programmed by hand, but we wouldn't want to. It would take a very long time and be a very complex process. And CAD CAM really simplifies that for us to be able to make parts such as this. And we would also want to use CAD CAM when programming more than five axes or five axes or more. Let's give an example of a part on a mill that uh, CAD CAM would simplify. Imagine doing a dome that's got more than one radius. So a compound dome that sinks into the bowl of the part. Now to be able to produce that by G-code would take a ridiculous amount of maths and calculations to try and work out where those cutter paths are going, especially if we're using a very small ball nose and we're taking many, many cuts. So in circumstances like this, we would definitely need to use CAD CAM software to be able to produce a lot of the parts, especially on milling machines. And if I'm programming a part on a machining center that's milling and I'm doing something a bit more complicated than just adding a few flats to a turned part, then I would definitely be looking at firing up the CAD CAM machine ready to produce these points for me to be able to produce this part a lot quicker and easier than I would do by programming by hand. So that's a few examples of why we may need to use G-Code or CAD CAM in certain environments in certain cases. But why should we need to know both in the machine shops? Surely if we only know CAD CAM, we can just do everything in the CAM software. 
wow, in a machine shop, you never know where the situation is going to arise. We might be doing one-offs, or we might be at a point where we need to use G-code. So say, for example, we're at the machine, we're running a program that was produced by our CAD CAM software, and we notice a little bit of vibration on a drill, and we might wish to change the speeds and feeds. Now, it's going to take a long time to go back to the CAD CAM machine, find the position on the model, change the speeds and feeds in the software, output again to DNC, load into the machine, and rerun the part. And we can just look through the G-code on the machine and change the speeds and feeds as we see it come up on the machine controls. So having an understanding of both G-code and CAD CAM is really important in the machine shop. It really does speed up our workflow and we can switch between the two as and when we need to. Now, as I just mentioned, it's very handy to be able to read the code on the machine as the machine is scanning through it. We might need to jump around inside the machine to rerun extra features that were out of tolerance, for example. So being able to read the program that the CAD CAM produces is also a really important part of machining, which is why a knowledge of G-code is important as well as CAD CAM. And another really important feature with CNC machines, and one that I use a lot myself, is the MDI, the Manual Data Input. Sometimes we may need to give a line or two of G-code to put the machine in a certain position or to change features. Maybe we need to send the cutter back home for a tool change. Maybe we stopped a program halfway through and we need to reset some G-codes that are active. So we can pop into MDI and make those changes. So of course we need to have a little bit of G-code knowledge to be able to use MDI on the machines. So that's just some reasons why knowing both G-code and computer-aided manufacturing, computer-aided design in the machine shop is really beneficial to the machinist. So I'll be interested to hear your comments below. And if you want to know more about either G-code programming or CAD CAM programming, pop over to my website where I've got lots of information, tips and tricks on covering both of those subjects.